Joan Collins, 89, has an estimated net worth of $20 million, 17 pounds. 05 million, but she feels completely comfortable handing the reins to her husband when it comes to family finances. The actress extraordinaire revealed in a new interview that he takes care of everything. He takes care of my children and all our finances. He is the love of my life, she declared. Although Percy is 33 years her junior, she says their arrangement works perfectly, and that they rarely row about anything. Of course, we have our little spats like other couples might do, but we've both got our safe spaces, the loss adjuster star revealed. She admits she withdraws to her vast walk-in wardrobe to indulge in some fashion therapy when things get tough, while Percy retreats to his office. The pair also have separate bathrooms, which Joan acknowledges is a privilege not everyone can afford. In spite of handing over control of her money to Percy, Joan regards herself as a feminist and a powerful woman. However Terry's one topic she isn't keen on anyone broaching, her age. Declaring it tremendously rude to ask about it, she told Saga magazine, my mother's generation never did it. Meanwhile Joan also has an axe to grind with those who brand her a super BH, based on her portrayal of Alexis Carrington in Dynasty. Dismissing their claims as fantasy, she asserted, I think it's utterly ridiculous that powerful, resilient women are portrayed as dangerous. She added to Saga magazine that in her experience, it's the predatory men who are the real threat. Joan seems to have had more than her fair share of traumatic experiences with men, as detailed in her autobiography Passion for Life. In fact, it wasn't until her fifth marriage that she found the man she felt sure was the one. Meanwhile though Joan will turn 90 next spring, she is showing no signs of slowing down in show business, let alone retiring. She revealed that she will be taking on the role of Wallace Simpson for the forthcoming TV drama In Bed with the Duchess. I play the Duchess of Windsor from the time that the Duke died right up until her death, she continued to Saga, adding, it's a fabulous story. A never active Joan was present at the Queen's Platinum Jubilee Parade in London too. Meanwhile the woman who boasts that she still feels like a 40-year-old credits her youthful complexion to her commitment to staying out of the sun. I have always worn sun protection, and have kept my face away from harmful rays since I was 20. You should see me when I wake up in the morning, my face is so white, it's like a sheet, she joked to you magazine.